Hello YouTube, my name is Chad and it has been a minute or so since I last uploaded a video and for that I apologize to the 2500 some odd of you who have subscribed to this channel and waited 40 years for me to release another video. Thank you for your patience, thanks for sticking around. I promise to make it worth your while. Um, I'm going to start uploading more videos. I know I said that last time I actually stood here and we talked. However, you're just gonna have to take my word for it because, uh, I mean, I don't want things to be awkward between us. In the last video where we talked like this, I asked you what you would like to see a video of and I got a pretty good response for seeing what was in my camera bag. So today I thought would be a perfect opportunity to see what is in my camera bag. Before I open this, I'm not going to get into details about anything. I will just basically show you what I keep in here. This is what I, I use on uh, an average shoot over at Clean My Space, which is um, the 99% uh, of the stuff in here. The primary use of it is to make videos for Clean My Space. So I won't get into the, the, the nitty gritty of each of the pieces in order to keep this video somewhat short because I will just ramble otherwise. However, if you would like to see a specific review or learn more about any of the uh, individual things that you see, I invite you to leave a comment down below. Let me know if there's something that you would like to learn more about and I will do my best to put a video together um, on that specific thing as opposed to going on for 29 minutes in this video telling you uh, all of this nerdy camera stuff. So without further ado, let's open up the bag and inside the first thing that you will find is my Canon 5D Mark II, which is the main camera that I use. I bought this camera about a year ago and it's a fantastic camera. Previously, I was using a Canon T3i, which is the camera that I'm shooting this particular video with because I'm, hold well, I'm holding this camera in my hands. I can't sh shoot. Either way, I use this camera all the time. It's got a 28 millimeter Canon 1.8 lens on it. I started with a 50 mil lens, which is this guy right here. This is the lens I recommend to anybody uh, getting into DSLR video for the first time. It is incredibly diverse. They're super cheap. They're about 120 bucks, or sometimes you can catch them on sale uh, for like $100. So a nifty 50, you absolutely need one of these in your bag. Anyhow, so that's the camera, a 28 mil lens, uh, a Canon 5D Mark II. The other lens that I carry around sometimes is this one, which is a Canon 75 300 mil lens. And this is a zoom lens, as you can definitely see. Sometimes when I'm out and about, especially if I'm outdoors, I love taking pictures of things outdoor and nature and trees and whatnot. I will use this lens because it's a great zoom lens. And uh, if ever I'm in the mood where I want to take a few pictures, I'll pull this out and put it on my camera. Next up, we have a GoPro. I keep this because it's an excellent second camera that I can easily set up using this, which is a clamp, which can clamp onto virtually anything that you can think of. And you got yourself a clamp with a camera which shoots super high definition. It's got an ultra wide angle, which is just amazing. It also has the ability to shoot 120 frames per second. So you can do really cool slow motion stuff. Next in the main compartment, we have one of these, which is a Canon PowerShot S110. I made a whole video. Actually, I went to uh, California and I only brought this camera because I wanted to do some filming while I was there and I wanted to see how good this camera is. It is a high definition camera, it shoots in 1080p. Uh, however, it was only about 200 bucks. So I wanted to see exactly how good the video part was and I'll link the video which I actually made using just this camera and my fun times in California and you can check it out just in case you're interested in a very, very, uh, very reasonably priced uh, camera which produces some amazing results. It gets a great quality image out of this. Lastly in here, and maybe it's because my main job is to do with cleaning that I have two cleaning products which I keep just to keep my lenses in tip top shape. This is a little brush which you use to brush the lens. And then on this side, there is a little microfiber pad which you can use to rub off any finger marks or 
debris or whatnot on the actual lens. The other thing that I have is this little guy, which is a little air blower, and you basically just use it just to get some of the finer dust particles and bric-a-brac, which just ends up on your lens. There's nothing in this pocket because that's where I keep my granola or my snacks. In this top pocket, I have this microphone. It's a little shotgun microphone. I think it cost me about $100 or so. It's an Asden, and I use it whenever I'm in a position when I can't use my lav mics. Normally, I love using lav mics, just a little wireless mic that I have, which I'll show you in a second. Um, however, I don't always have the luxury, or if there's two people or three people or a crowd of people that need to be mic'd, or at least I just need to pick up, and I don't want to just use the microphone on the camera, I will use this. It's not great, obviously it's only a $100 mic, but at the same time it does a much better job than the internal mic, and that's why I keep this in my bag at all times. And I think that's it, and it's, no, I tell a lie, there is a front pocket, and inside the front pocket something very, very important which I keep around, which is a charger and a spare battery at all times. I keep two batteries with me because the amount of time that it takes to use up a battery is about the same amount of time it takes to charge a battery. So if I keep two with me for the most part, I am good to go at any given time as far as batteries are concerned. Again, if you would like to learn anything more about any of the gear that um, I was showing you today, please let me know in the comments below. I also have a lot of equipment that I didn't even really touch on, which I normally carry around. The first being the Sennheiser mic pack, which I'm actually using right now. This is the lav mic that I use and that Melissa gets mic'd up with over at Clean My Space. The other thing I didn't get a chance to really show you are my tripods. I have a jib, I have a follow focus, I use a steady cam sometimes, and I actually do even have some more cameras which uh, I don't really have here because I don't keep them in my bag. This is the stuff that I shoot with mainly. So if you would like to see anything, let me know. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy your day or night or whatever time it happens to be while you're watching this. Happy that time, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.